Right. Just remembered, my favorite character used to be Cordelia. Ooh. That's the last of them. Gods, I thought it might never- Crom! Crom, look out! <laughs> huh? Father, no! Father, no! Get back! Oh my god, that guy's fucking sneaky. Father. Thank the gods you're safe. Huh? Y you called me father. <laughs> Did I? I. Perhaps we might speak privately. <laughs> perhaps we should. Yes. I was a horny teenager then. <laughs> Over Cordelia? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Listen. I already know you're not Marth. Though I have nothing better to call you. But I'll ask nothing of you that you don't wish to reveal. Whoever you are, Elise owes you a debt beyond repaying. No. Thank you, but... I think I would prefer you know the truth. Good. As you wish. Yes. Here, look closely. And all will be made clear. <laughs> That's the brand of the exalt. <sighs> Lucina. Lucina. You deserve better from me than one sword in a world of troubles. If only Smash Trailers hadn't spoiled this one. Though, so it could become obvious. Yeah, exactly. Lucina? I'm so sorry. Yes, Father. I'm sorry. I'll just rush back at once. Good. Father. <laughs> Should I call you something else? No. No, it's just strange to my ear. I like it. <sighs> Father! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll take some getting used to. Crumb. I'm sorry, Krom? Huh? Hmm? Oh, Bungus! What is it? It's just that you two are out here all alone, and Marth is crying. This is how ill rumors are born. Sully, isn't it a little late to be practiced? Nah. You've got some nerve bringing that damn hussy around here! Now get her away from me before I start practicing on her! Listen. I think we should tell her, Lucina. Yes. Of course. Um... Lucina? This trollop shares the same name as our daughter? Listen to me. She is our daughter. This is cruel, Krom. Cruel beyond words. Stop hiding behind your wild stories and admit your- Right. It's no tale, Sully. It's the truth. I am your daughter. Look closely and see for yourself. Hmm? She has the brand. Hmm. The same brand carried by all House Elise's bloodline. Hmm. It's the same as Lucina's. What the bloody hell is going on here? Listen. Sully, listen to me. Um... Did someone kidnap our baby? Dastards! I'll rip their throat! <sighs> Peace, Sully. It's alright. Your baby is right where you left her, and perfectly safe. I am her from another time. From a time that is yet to be. 
Y you mean the future? Yes. Yes, more than ten years hence. After history takes a dark and most destructive turn. Oh jeez, we're gonna get cutscene over it. Oh Jesus. The dreads. I believe the woman you want is me. We can't let these things win. Now grab a sword and fight. Jesus Christ! As long as Lucina has her brand on her eye, I consider the brand of the Exalt to be a Genjutsu. Huh? But why? What happens in the future? Right. The fell dragon, Grima, is re resurrected. His roar is a death knell for men. A scream that silences all hope. Death everywhere. No. Prom. Our whole company, all of us, dead? Yes. Yes. Um. I prefer a mage. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <sighs> a tale that beggars belief, and yet the truth of it stands before us. She carries Falchion, my same sword. And the same sword the first exalt used to defeat Grimma long ago. Right. Your blade and mine are one, father. It was... It was all I had left for you. Right. There was only one Falchion Bungus. I believe her. Is there really only one? I recall a slightly green-haired individual also having one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so do I. Heck, I saw her come from the future. She fell right out of the sky. Never seen anything like it. Yes. Oh my god, thank you. Aunt Lissa. Naga, the divine dragon feared mankind would face Grima again. In preparation for that day, she devised a ritual. It allows one to return to the past and alter events already rewritten. I had the journey together with others, but we became separated. <sighs> Don't worry, Lucina. If we're out there, we'll find them. Compared to a sword or gun, swinging and shooting is okay and all, but imagine conjuring crazy shit, mm. like elements and other things. I agree with Rain, 100%. That'd be awesome. But my go-to, um... My go-to class would actually be kind of like the Dreadfighter, but it's the one from Three Houses, I really can't remember the name. Um... Where you swear, sw you weave magic and have a sword. Um, oh, what is it called? Mortal Savant? Is that what I'm thinking of? I think it is. He has like the fucking four blades strapped to his back. Yeah, exactly. The Mortal Savant. Yeah. I would ideally love to be a Mortal Savant because it's pretty much like a dread fighter mixed with magic. So, you really are my daughter. Yes. I swear on my life. Oh uh, yeah? Well, you turned out damn beautiful. And tough like me. <laughs> you have my gratitude. Thank you, Sully. No. Mm. Uh, Sully? <laughs> I thought you might mind anything more familiar. Yeah. Why? So Krom can take all the credit? Of course not. I love you. Mother. Oh, mother. An eastern blade is okay, but magic is far sexier. That is very fair. Come here, you. I'm so proud of you. Mother. I've missed you more than you'll ever know. Aww. Big Sag. 
Ooh, we got a paralog. Jesus Christ! Ooh, this guy's got a master seal. Take your time. We'll just snag that really quick. No, wait. What is that here? Meh. Eh. Javelin. There's a master seal here as well. Challenge, Port for Rocks. Pretty easy map considering. We'll do a support. Oh, we get Lucina as a fighter now. Wow. That'd actually be very useful to use. Uh, who do we got? Virion and Bungus, that sounds funny. Um. So if the Cavalier is spread out in a fan, and the Pegasus Knight sweeping from the flank. Oh my. Goodness, I can particularly see smoke rising from your head. Whatever could have you working on such a feathered tilt? Yeah. I'm practicing strategies and scenarios on this game board. After a hundred forced marches, these pieces are still ready for more. It saves me from running everyone ragged with training exercises. Yes, yes. How very clever! You even carved the little enemy forces for them to fight. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often, with other people I mean. Hmm. Well, as long as I control friend and foe alike, it's not effective as I prefer. After all, I can't plan for the unexpected when I know all the moves ahead of time. Ah, oh, yes. Then permit me to be your opponent. I shall strike with the nobility of the lion and defend with the grace of the swan. <sighs> because swans are good defenders? Uh, never mind, I, I, I accept. So then, we'll take turns moving units until one of us claims the other's command. Agreed? Ah, oh, yes. Agreed and agreed again. Oh, what fun. Begin, please, by all means. Hold, I need to retract my last move. Haha! <laughs> For that all enemies general so generous, but alas, this is war. Checkmate, my good sir. Blast, I hate to admit it, but I re am really well beaten. Oh, I told you I was both a lion and a swan, did I not? More like a chicken at the far end of a horse. I'm no noble lord, but your strategy wasn't exactly what I call honorable. No! Heavens! Aren't we plain spoken? <laughs> Still, I appreciate the practice. Thank you, Vera. No. Uh... If you wish to unleash my dishonorable strategies again, you have but to ask. I don't know why I made Virion French. We're not gonna question it. Fun facts: the games won't let you now for some reason. Now for some reason. Remember the dra divine dragon they mentioned, Naga? She created Duma and Mila, like so this and then Oh my god. Yeah, that would make sense. I feel like all the Divine Dragons are Nabataeans in their own way. A tree branch? That's actually a weapon? Oh my god, why would I ever want a tree branch? Uh... I'll do something like that. Why not? Come on. Duma being a shitty warmonger was exiled to Valentia with Milla following him because bros before hoes, I guess. But that would... Did he... Did it say where he was exiled? Like, where he was from originally? Uh, yeah, it was from Arcanaean. I hit Milla more than Duma. Really? Why is that rude? Now 
Nagra is Arcanea's main divinity. Ah, I see. And then, uh... What's his name? The evil guy that apparently is gonna destroy the world. Uh... Grima. Sorry. My mind blanked. So Grima, is he like the... Like, other one? I don't know how to call it. Even though Duma's people were cruel, they could rely on themselves in surviving a crisis. Mila people were a bunch of spoiled losers. Hey, I agree with that, but I also think that there's a little bit of right on both sides. Grimo is a lot more complicated. Echo's postgame delves into that in a very interesting way. Ah, uh, yeah. You said that the postgame had some things on Grimo. Hmm. Uh, Nui Baba was a pain. Although she kind of looked like a demonic Zelda, so she gets brownie points, I suppose. Delthea, because she was a pain in the ass to get. Literally, literally the most pain in the ass person to save. And since my heart is a heart of gold, I could not just have her just die there, so... Oh no, a steel sword broke. That's very bad. I really gotta get used to watching the durabilities. I'm too accustomed to echoes, man. You pick Beery on there. Alm or Baku? Alm. The tragedy that Alm went through, Burkut's just kind of selfish. Sure, at the end he got like a nice little finish, but you know, that's part of the story. Take away the story, and Burkut would have been an asshole forever. Just because, you know. I think the best written character though had to be, um... <sighs> Who am I thinking of? Fernand. Fernand is the best written character. Donnie sticking up for himself. Ooh, Fernand, my boy. I really hated him in the beginning, but then I realized, like, at the end, like, his whole, like, thingy... It just felt right. Oh my god! I've never seen a bunny crit. That's awesome. Oh, Krom's max. He can level up. We should get him a Master Seal if he can. <laughs> the best written character 100% is Fernand. I literally wanted to cry when he was uh, at the end. 
at the end, pretty much. I'm not gonna say too much, because people that may be lurking without an account, maybe they haven't played through it. If you haven't played through Echoes, play through Echoes. I 100% recommend it. Could you miss such a supple hit? It makes sense why he's selfish though. He was taught at a young age you need to be the best. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I agree with it. What am I missing? Maribel. Over over there. to be king before Alm was even a thing. He lost everything due to him. Yeah. And his relationship with Renee was so cute despite how it all ended. He was kind of a dick to Renee. Like, Renea really fucking loved him, apparently. My lord. That's fair, he did become a dick more than he failed. That takes care of the Risen. This area ought to be safe for a spell. We're forgetting something. We are? If you see how they met, you see you respected her as a person. Yeah. Recruit was you, being manipulated by Duma. Well, yeah, emotions are very easy to manipulate. Okay, so that one. Dueling grounds. Interesting. Hey, Reed, feel free to join the Discord if you want. You can just hit exclamation point Discord. We stream it, everything, like, everything from, like, I stream everything from Fire Emblem to other things, so it's, it's cool. And I don't just buy instead of fighting the Revenant. I really don't want to go, ah, uh, fuck it. He also dances with her in private because she loves dances, but she hates dancing in public. I mean, I hate dancing in public. But I'd do it. Okay, Krom, let's see what you can take. A great lord. Alright. Just a great lord, then. Ah, and the fire emblem on his arm. I have another master cell? Alright. Who shall we give Gregor, probably? That's on the memory prisms, no? I think you didn't get to see those. I did collect them. I just don't think I went through all of them. Okay, Gregor. So he can either be a hero. Why would I. A bow knight? Eh. It was a far better romance than Almond Selica. Almond Selica was too uh, obvious. Oh, we have marks on our hands. We must get married. Well, it's more in-depth than that, but... Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. There we go. Gregor. 
Then again, I hate the romances in Echoes. I mean, Bowie and uh, May. That was pretty great to know. I could have called it though. I carry only the finest. Have you had a bunch of bullying? Where was all the bullying I just saw? I'm gonna sell the tree branch. Alright, whatever. Uh, bye. I'm the... I must bring up Gray, then Simp Claire. Oh, that was awesome. But, but, my Saber X Jenny. That was weird. You can't even deny that. Let's get Henry a level up. Actually, wait, Henry? Should we do Henry? Let's level up Maribel. You can either be a Valkyrie, a seasoned hardy troubadour, uses staves and tomes, or a war cleric, a seasoned cleric who heals with staves and hurts with axes. Hmm. Check both their endings. That was a thing? Fuck! <laughs> uh, we'll make her a Valkyrie. Also, I hate the color blue. What's your favorite color, Reen? And Alm is clad in blue. Purple! Hey, Reen, join the club! Sweet, my favorite color is purple. So Maribel is a Valkyrie, so that should give her some resistance. Take away the Nosferatu from you, because you can't use it anymore. Give her Arkwind. Who's your favorite character in Three Houses? Edelgard. I am a huge Edelgard simp. Must be hard being a Fire Emblem fan. <laughs> oh man. What can I fix um, you with? Get L Thunder. It's gonna sound bad, but mine is Gilbert. Oof, I hate Edelgard. Edelgard's awesome. I don't get the hate. Why is yours Gilbert, though, Mathematicus? I'm actually curious. No judgment, but why? Bungus! Firstly, I agree he's a shitty dad. Oh no! Hell oh, yeah! I totally forgot that little bit. That's what I wanted to check. Um, what does this do? That's half measure string to the other value. Oh! 